And instead, they say, this is our home. Our ancestors died for this country. Of course, the first person to die in the Revolutionary War was a black man named Crispus Attucks, who had run away from slavery himself. Nicole Hannah-Jones is a great role model, I think, for a lot of young journalists. She had an idea, she pursued it, and in what she described as a very short period of time, about seven months, brought to fruition uh, an amazing, enduring project, uh, 1619, that is going to be around for years and years. Like, to me, 1619 feels something that's, like, building up. Like, it's something that's, like, exciting. It's something that's very, like, wow, like, oh, my God, like, 1619. And I feel like if you don't really feel yourself, that, like, wow, 1619, you're not going to be able to really connect with the material. It's just going to be something that your professor says you write down and don't think about until you come to the midterm. It's like, oh, what's that one thing about, like, black people? Oh, 1619. It takes someone of a certain type of culture, some aspect and look at life, such as a black or African-American professor, to really talk about African-American issues. And I think that while journalists in the School of Calm and other teachers are very informed and educated, I don't think they personally will have the sense of urgency and the broad scope that African-American people, such as myself, will really feel. When we abolish slavery with the 13th Amendment, we are the third to the last country in all the Americas to end slavery. So when I created the project, I created it as a work of journalism. And I honestly didn't give a ton of thought to how educators would use it. But uh, it's been really fulfilling to know that educators in K-12 as well as colleges are using it. And the way that I've heard that it's being used is really all across the spectrum. Any person, any parent can download that um, for free. And it's currently being taught in more than 3,000 schools across the country. It's being used in English classes, it's being used in history classes, in sociology. I know people have used it uh, in teaching classes about health care. Um, so I think there are lots of ways that educators can adapt the project to teach students about a myriad of things. Um, some of it is about the making of national memory. Um, some of it can be very practical when you are teaching a, a class on health care, uh, to teach the health care pieces about the way that racism and racial stereotypes Types still influence the way that we give out health care, I think can be useful in that way. So I think that educators can find a variety of ways to adapt the 1619 project to the courses that they're teaching.